good morning we are from svs embedded the project title name is called intelligent design of intelligent mobile checking system based on home 7 in this project we are using a matlab based uh, embedded mobile checking system we used let us assume that so all the vehicles are going on the road so vehicles is coming into the toll gate so when So when the vehicle is coming into the toll gate, first of all we are capturing that number plate. Let us assume that this is the number plate. When the number plate is matches in our database. So if the vehicle is okay, this is the authorized vehicle. So the latitude values, longitude values will be sent to the owner. And at the same time, you know, in, in this project, we tracked, we tracked the vehicle. So, um, the owner will track the vehicle using that uh, number AP2456. Uh, let us we have in four number plates we are taken. So the owner will send the vehicle number. Then the vehicle number will be uh, fixed with one vehicle. So that vehicle database will be sent to the owner which having that latitude values, longitude values coming from the GPS. Those are the values should send it to the owner. So here in our project we use the block diagram in that block diagram we are using laptop or the PC's camera and here we used one uh, lap um, in that we used one MATLAB software which was used by the capturing as well as uh, identify the number and sending the number to the home processor which we are using that communication is called UART communication. UART communication which was used by the UART1. We have a ARM processor ARM7 LPC2148 having a two UART communications are available. Those we used UART0 and UART1. UART1 which was used used by GPS and the MATLAB which we having some relay circuit is presented. So we used one GSM module it is in SIM300 module. So this is uh, receiving the SMS and sending the SMS having an AT command mode format and a reset one LCD and uh, this is called an block diagram section. Let us coming into the hardware section. In this hardware section we are using an ARM development board which we used from SVS embedded which was a power supply section and this is a bridge rectifier, filter capacitor and 7805 regulator. So all these are called uh, power supply section. So we we used one uh, LM3117 uh, fixed 3.3 volts regulator which we used. And here we used an LPC2148 ARM processor and 12 megahertz crystal. Those are connected uh, uh, with the uh, pins crystal XTL1 and, and XTL2. And we used two switch, switch buttons. Those are called our uh, ISP. And this one is the ISP and this one is the reset and ISP uh, we want to dump the program onto the ARM processor must and should we need to press the ISP and after that we have to press and release the reset reset is whenever the program is stacked we want to restart it and we are here we used one 16 cross 2 LCD display and character LCD display whatever the process is going on to the internal that was displayed onto the LCD okay that was displayed onto the LCD and here we used one max 232 this is an voltage level converter which was sending the data and receiving the data from the modem and here we used one RS232 cable that was connected with the UART0 here we used one G GSM module it is in SIM300 module recommended standard SIM300 module which was used by the one G 2G um, SIM card and it is 850 megahertz to 1800 megahertz frequency and it, it is working under 80 command format so it is in fixed with the 9600 baud rate and those are the it was continuous the, whenever the vehicle is presented at the toll gate it is receives the data and sending the sms to the owner in this part we used one gps module rasta 634 or 9600 gps module having of 65 channel uh, and it, it can track uh, track the GPS values and sending through the uh, uh, UART1 and which was used by one relay 
and relay why we are using means we are continuously taking the data from the computer oh uh, computer rs232 or a pc so th this was connected with the relay and at the same time which was relay connected with the gps so here we used one relay that relay is called spdt relay single pole double through first it was connected with the pc when the data is coming from the set com coming from the pc half the uh, number number which was sent through the lcd so if the num number is uh, already stored in the predefined database if the database which was coming from the uh, uh, which was coming from the uh, camera that was uh, uh, given into the checked into the arm processor okay it was perfect then only the relay will be trips and it was continuously take the data from the satellite those are the latitude value longitude value having that dollar uh, g p r m c global positioning system with latitude and longitude values those are the values will be compared through g, uh, compared uh, those are the values will be sent to the arm processor that values will be aligned to the gsm and that number and we was received that sms whenever the owner will track that vehicle where the vehicle is present he was where it is going on weighing going so we don't know so we want to track that number so we have to send that particular number on that vehicle so they send receive that sms whoever the number is received that number they have to send their sms like latitude values and longitude values so this project uh, here we are we used the orcad for the schematic diagram and we have a two flow charts one is the matlab flow chart and another one is the hardware flow chart and we are we are having a number recognition format and third one uh, we used keel software which was uh, programming on the programming on the compiler is in keel micro vision 4 and we are using uh, an um, Uh, dumping or uh, using an flash um, flash magic software which was used by the UART cable this was connected with the UART 0 uh, okay and uh, we are connected with the gps and gsm and so all uh, it, when we want to change the program using the isp and the reset so this is and mainly we are checking the vehicles on number place using an matlab software so that matlab will analyze that number and it's sending to the uart so which the database is perfect then only they send the information to the particular number okay so we we presented this demonstration on the uh, coming from the student so so we can go for the multiple car tracking also we are the used four database which we go for the 10 to 20 database which was stored in the arm processor all the information will be was taking uh, arm processor we when the uh, vehicle number is coming from the owner they send the information to the particular mobile so here we used one multi um, we can track one number as well as multiple number we can track it so we can uh, go for uh, as per the requirement okay coming oh. so if there is any doubts let me know to svs embedded